Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how we can remove the jitter from mocap data. Sometimes it's a very common problem due to the per frame data calculation and mocap recording. So no matter for minor jitter or sudden pops, you're always going to face some sort of issues. And this video is going to show you how to inspect and remove the jitter problem that we've got. So in the first case, the issue is quite heavy, as we can see here in our scene, our character falls to the ground and we can see the legs are, you know, really shaking. They've really got a lot of jitter. The arms over here have got a lot of jitter and the hands have got some jitter in. They're doing a lot of shaking. This, you know, really not pleasing to watch and, you know, can be really distracting and take away the illusion of what you're trying to display. So what we're going to do is we're really going to look at how to inspect it and then how to ultimately remove the jitter from our characters. So what we're going to firstly do is just find the point in time and break the clip and then we'll go down to our base motion where the jitter begins and in our curve editor here you can see um, we've got all our kind of things going on with the curve and we can see the points where there's jitter, uh, the kind of curve goes up and down, it's a bit, you know, kind of out of control moving up and down and, you know, it doesn't look smooth at all as you can see here, the arches are quite you know, pointed off at different particular points. And this is what's creating that jitter. And we're just going to really clean all of this up by selecting, you know, the different parameters that we want to clean up. So for instance, this is the foot, the rotation X, and then we've got our different rotation here on the Y axis. And we can see, um, you know, a bit of jitter going on here with the different kind of ups and downs on the graph. So we're just going to go into our filter and we're going to smoothen out everything by clicking on our filter. And then we can go to smooth all, and we're just going to do that by about seven or eight and hit apply. And you can see straight away that gives you this lovely smooth motion, this really smooth line. All of those kind of, you know, up and down points have gone and it's really smoothened it out. And that's really going to clean up all of that jitter in the right foot. And we can go to the spine. We can see there's no issues here because we've applied that to all of the different layers and it's smoothened out all of the different axes. So really, really simple to do. If we play that back a little bit, you can see everything's cleaned up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to this point now and we're going to break the clip here. And very quickly, if we go back into our curve editor, you can see, you know, the graph line here isn't smooth. Again, you know, a lot of jitter, a lot of kind of up and down in the gram and it doesn't look too smooth. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to search for the, you know, different points, the different body parts. So here we're looking at the fingers and we can see it doesn't look smooth. And we're just going to right click, select all the keys, and we're going to smooth the selected parts in this case. And you can see straight away, smoothens out all of that line, smoothens out that motion. And it's really quick, really simple to do. It takes a few seconds. And now you know exactly what to look for as well when we're looking for that jitter. So you can see how smooth the graph is. Um, and before it was really kind of rigid and, you know, different points going up and down. So that's what you're looking for. And ultimately, that's what you're looking to smoothen out when you get that jitter. So we can see, you know, really good results when we brush the timeline. And um, it looks really, really, really cool now. And the jitter has gone. If we played it before and after, you'll see it's completely removed that jitter. And this is a very, very common issue. And, you know, a lot of people don't know what to look for or how to get rid of it. This is how you do it really quick, really simple, just by using that curve editor. And we're going to do the same here for this character. You can see it's a little bit different here. There's a bit of popping going on when the character comes up, the knees popping a little bit. And, you know, it's just really kind of not looking pleasing. It kind of is very noticeable. It really does stand out. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to be breaking the motion at the exact point where that happens. And we'll go into the base motion here. And we can see in this instance, when we click on our calf, we can see there's this little kind of, there's this big dip that goes down and up. And this is what's creating the issue. So we just want to smooth out the selected parts to about 15. That's going to really smoothen out everything. And if we go down to our fires here, you'll see we can do the exact same thing. You know, there's a lot of kind of big kind of arches going up and down and we're just going to smoothen that out and that will really then correlate over in our animation as you can see here gets rid of that pop in very very easy so you know it's really really simple to do 
and a really cool way moving forward to you know start going back over some old motion mocap data that you might have captured and just start to clean up that jitter now you know how it's really really great and you know a really great feature and a great tool within iClone 8 the curve editor it can be used to do all sorts of amazing and incredible stuff and in this instance you've seen exactly how we can clean up any jitter and kind of pop in motions and get everything back to normal looking really cool and realistic so i really hope that helps and I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.